Hi, I'm Alistair McEwen. I'm the Chair of Technology and Innovation with the Cerebral Palsy Alliance and the University of Sydney. And my role is to uh, harness technology to transform the lives of families living with disability. I firmly believe that the technology will be able to solve all of the problems we're presented with, with disability one day. So problems including obviously the mobility, wheelchairs or needing to walk with, us, with assistive devices. And problems also with communication. It may take a long time. Even the little steps along the way are gonna make a big difference to people. So there's many, many ways technology can help. The future of uh, innovation for disability uh, really is going in two directions. One way is very high technology involving, say, implants inside the body to help people move, brain implants and stem cells to help regenerate tissue, but also changing their environment for people with disability. So that can be things like self-driving cars, also maybe robots to help us so that the person doesn't need to change, but the environment changes. One idea that seemed very, it seemed futuristic just a few years ago, but is now really blossoming with many projects around the world is exoskeletons. So exoskeletons started really as uh, something really funded by the US Department of Defense for return soldiers. And that was really the idea then, and probably the cost. And I think what we've seen is just reducing cost of technology has meant that that, that, that sort of technology can, can, can be developed in many by lots of different groups in different areas. And if you think about the electronic scooters that we see now and electronic bikes, that technology is really what's required for an exoskeleton. Very cheap motors, uh, electronic motors, and cheap batteries that are quite portable. So people have really taken on board that and sort of hacked that together for exoskeletons, but in a, in a proper way. And we've really seen uh, amazing results from trials where children, basically not able, children who are not able to walk without assistance can walk on their own with exoskeletons. And now it's really just about ramping up those trials and showing to clinicians that where this technology is, and then the next step will be making them easy enough to use. And uh, then we'll be at the stage where I think parents are going to be you know, running after their children who, <laughs> who they, would, they wouldn't have been running after before um, and trying, trying to catch them because um, I think we'll, we'll see that, that kind of mobility. So for any people thinking of helping us through donation or another way, I would say uh, you're supporting really a world first leading group here in, in cerebral palsy research. It's very apparent to me that right around the world, the, the, the group here in Sydney are the, are the leaders. This group is, is the place to make the biggest impact because they've been leading the area for so long. You know, typically places where we take leadership from, like the US or Europe, are really, in this case, taking it um, from here in, in Sydney, Australia. Thank you.